So yesterday you guys did an amazing job of mixing up your colors. I happened to look into Rowan's and noticed that she did just like we talked about that she mixed up three colors and now Rowan gets to use them to make her eyes. Now you are gonna notice that it's possible that some of your clay got a little stuck together and if that bothers you, you can just pinch off some of the stuff that got stuck to the other one. But at the end of the day, it's all going to work out fine. Not to worry. Some of you have a lot of tiny little colors of clay. Um, the only one you kind of have to really follow directions on here for is for the eyelids. So let's watch here. The base is going to be the back of your magnet. And we are actually going to give you a tiny little piece of white clay and I want you to put it in your hands and smush a smush a smush 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 a smush a smush a smush a smush it till it's like the width of paper and hopefully you can smirp to get that thing to fit right on there and you're just gonna have that bag over that piece of paper so that you're not actually sticking the clay on the paper don't put the clay on the paper. That would be bad. Now, let's talk about eyelids. I'm going to take some of Rowan's clay. I even thought, oh, I'll put a little to the side. You're going to roll it into a nice round sphere. You are carefully going to pinch it into the most beautiful pancake you have ever seen. Not too big. Then you're going to cut it in half. You can see when I put it down on the bag that the ones that I cut are just a little bit bigger than the ones that are on the paper, but not that much bigger. So that's a good way to go. Now watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull that thing out, leaving the rounded part on the top, and I'm going to have that as my eyelid over my eyeball. Now, I'm going to cover a little bit of my eyeball, but the eyeball is so cool. You don't want to cover up the whole thing. Then guess what I'm going to do? The rounded part is now in the bottom, and I'm going to put this part there. Once you have that done, whoo-wee, you are ready to start decorating. If your clay is hiding your eyeball, you're the boss of the clay. You say, uh-uh, scoot back there. I need you to stay where you are, and just like that, you've got the beginning of an amazing eye. Now, I wish I was you, because from here, you're gonna be looking at those idea sheets, you're gonna be taking the amazing clay that you already mixed up, and you are going to start adding stuff. I really encourage you to look at the idea sheets to see if you're gonna to wanna to put little twirls or um, little scales on there, or if you're gonna have like, um, pointy little jaggedy things coming off the eyeballs, or if you're just gonna be like all short and sassy, whatever it is you're looking for. So here's where I put on my eyelids. I decided to take my marker and to just twist it into the clay to add some texture and some colors. Notice it's not like yesterday where I'm coloring in a whole section, no. I'm just using it to add some texture and a little bit of color. So you'll have to think through the colors. I have to be honest, and I wasn't wild about the colors when I did this, but I didn't start to cry because I knew I was gonna be able to cover up the parts I didn't like. No big deal, no big deal. Um, so then I took some of my green clay, I rolled it into a tiny little ball, and then I started to put them on and I would pu push them down a little bit and so that it would start to look like scales. Now, as long as you're working on the plastic, you can make this part bigger than the actual base. You'll notice I'm starting to go right off the edge. Here I'm taking some clay and rolling it into a very skinny snake, the skinniest snake ever. And now I'm going to put it and have it like eyeliner, thank you very much, around my eye there, just to give a little emphasis. Now I've decided to take two colors and make them into the skinniest snakes ever. 
I'm gonna pinch them together and then I'm gonna twist, 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 twist all day long, but actually you don't have that much time. And then you are going to place it where you want it to go. I'm putting it over the eyelid and then I decided to do a little swirl at the end. Now you can start to think about the big horn, the big like, Mm, the real honking, pointy, thick eyelashes that you're gonna put on there. I started with the pink one. You can do a whole bunch of different colors. I did big ones, small ones. I kind of had them like coming up and out. You're gonna notice that when you put stuff on, it could be that the clay sort of starts to mm, come down a little bit. Like you're even gonna notice that you're gonna be like, I told that clay not to cover my eyeball. You just kind of have to tell the clay who's boss. Here I twirled another one and put it along the bottom. I kind of liked how that looked. And then I started to get creative again. Here I added little texture using the marker around the eye. Here I used a completely different color marker. And remember when I told you I wasn't wild about it? Do you see how I covered it up and no one had to cry? No one ever saw the part I didn't like. When you're finished, it's gonna look like this. We're gonna be making a little accordion fold on an index card and place it on there for it to dry. Make sure you've got your label on there. And oh boy, we're gonna let these dry the next two, few days and they're gonna be beautiful, have fun.